one is here. Of course, we knew that boy was coming. And here he is. LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is a thing, but he is going to be a... Oh, dude, his attack... Are you kidding me? His attack. What the hell? <laughs> his attack is 16,000? Uh, okay. <laughs> Understand that Gohan as a tech unit gets 5,400 attack from the hidden potential system. So again, his attack stat is ridiculously high. Immediately, I noticed that. Um, also, he is Super Saiyan 2. So he is a direct replacement for the OG LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. This guy right here. Um, but this guy, I mean, is still good on the Android side. Cell Saga team, right? Whereas the new one is Movie Heroes. Um, he is tech, of course, because they can't just give us a god super AGL unit to destroy that stage, right? They have to continue playing with us. Uh, there's a very big deal about this, so this should be a Christmas double rates banner, right? This should be. But it's global and JP at the same time. Now, certainly, I was not expecting that. Like, I knew global had something up their sleeve. A hundred percent. I knew. I was not worried. Everyone's saying, global. Ah! It's like, nah. Nah. Listen. They've got something. I know. I know. I, I know. All right? This is good. I This, to me... I didn't, like, I wasn't really listening. I was in call with, like, Gresh and a couple of them. They were saying that this Gohan is the best unit in the game. So, let's go and take a look. Um, Again, he is a tech unit. Actually, he's on less categories than I thought he would be on. Wait, how many is he on? Nine? I can't count. He's on nine categories. All right, we'll, we'll take a look. I feel like he's missing stuff. We'll, we'll, oh, well, he's not transforming. So, transformation boost, at least. All right, let's go and take a look at this Gohan stats. Okay, so... Again, his attack is ridiculous. He's movie hero category key four and 130%. Okay, so leader skill's not really that big of a deal. Um, you know, he's also, because he's not transforming, he's not going to give Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku the buff, right? Because Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku wants Super Saiyan category units. This Gohan is just, he starts as Super Saiyan 2, so he's only going to be on the Super Saiyan 2 category. Oh, that's the other categories he wouldn't have. It's like, he doesn't have transformation boost. He's not on Super Saiyan 1. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I, I hate the way the global... Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah, his, nice passive. <laughs> Sick passive. Okay. So, it's movie hero category, key 430%, or super tech key 400%. I guess super tech did need a good leader like that. He is going to be good for, like, super tech battlefield and stuff like that. Um, do we have... I hate... Dude, I... I uh, the only thing is... Doing these, like, the Japanese, like, way they do it. Like, look how it's nice and clean. You can see everything. It's just one image. And the global one, like, they, they put the shit, like, out of order. And it's just, like, all one. Like, why is the super attack effect last? What are we doing here? All right. Even the global Twitter is messing up. Okay, so it looks like his 12 key raises attack and defense one turn. 18 key raises defense one turn and does Meg Colossal and massively lowers defense. I think the 12 key, lo uh... Greatly lowers defense as well as raise attack and defense, by the way, for one turn. Okay. Because um, <clears throat> that, that uh, aggression talent was saying that. All right. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> this I want to look at the jet. Let me see the Japanese one. Yes. <laughs> Quite the long passive there. Okay. So he gets 58% attack and defense at the start of turn. An additional one. Okay. Yeah. An additional one key per key sphere obtained. So he's already a big boy. Then he gets an additional... 7% attack and defense per keys for obtained. Okay. Oh, he gets another 58% attack when doing an ultra super. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And an additional 59% and a guaranteed crit if it's an ultra super attack under 58% HP. With a movie hero category Goku. There he is. Category ally Goku. Wait, wait. Starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle once only. Okay, that's... <clears throat> that's stupid. The last part is very stupid. <laughs> Why not just make him a partner a super attack character at that point? Okay. I mean 
again, I think that's very stupid, but whatever. It's not the biggest deal. Um, because it's just like, what? Like, dude, it's an HP restriction five turns away. Like, you're never, you just never going to see that. Like, it's just not ever going to happen. I, uh, okay. All right. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So he's got an active skill too here, huh? Let's see. So his active skill, Promise Me to Dad, can be activated on HP's 58% or less. The movie hero category ally whose name includes Goku from the fifth turn. Well, oh, okay. Hit, okay. If you get that off, this go, that's like a 20 million attacks. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a guaranteed crit 20 million attacks at or something. Uh, look at that because so he's getting 58% attack and defense and he gets the extra 7% per key sphere obtained. Then he's getting the extra 58% from ultra super attack. Then another 59% and guaranteed crit. And then another 59%. But that, but this, the active skill one, another 59%, but that's like an active skill, like out of rotation buff or whatever. Hmm. I would like this Gohan a lot more if that didn't have a turn restriction on it. Because that's very similar to Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, who when you fall below that HP restriction, you can he does guaranteed crits for that turn, and you could use his active skill. And it's set up so that his active skill is always a guaranteed crit. Like that like that's the intention with the design. Their intention with this is for Gohan to kill whatever you're fighting <laughs> when he gets his active skill off. But the problem is that you have to wait a thousand turns from the start of battle. I mean, it's five turns, but it's a thousand turns, right? So. Hmm. All right. His links. Super Saiyan. Saiyan Warrior Race. Gaze of Respect. Gaze of Respect? All in the family prepare for battle, shattering limit, and legendary power. Gaze of Respect? Are you kidding me? What? <clears throat> Why? Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, prepare for battle. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> um, I would have preferred, like, why not give him shocking speed? Gaze of, dude. I I'm a little annoyed at that because it's like the post link level update era links are mega important, right? Okay. So yeah, if you could use that LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan with this LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, they both have gaze of respect. Awesome. They, they want you to use them with the Broly movie Gohan, I guess. I mean, Icarus Kid Gohan is on Movie Hero as well. Look at this shitty link. Dude, this actually would have been way better if you could use this Gohan with this LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. That would, that would work a lot better. <laughs> but they made him the direct replacement. The link is good. Two key, 10% attack and defense. But like, yeah, good, like Liam Neeson and good luck. Or... I messed it up. Liam Neeson and Taken. It's just good luck on getting that link. Yeah, you're going to run the tech LR Bojack movie Gohan with LR Piccolo often. Okay, so I, I, there's a couple design choices I'm not the biggest fan of. I think this Gohan is probably, like, he's going to be top five for sure. But they he could be way better. That's the thing. Shattering the Limit as well is a bummer because he's the only good. That's definitely a bummer. Um, and gaze of respect. Like, I mean, this should be shock. They should have just given him shocking speed and fierce battle, dude. Like what really? He doesn't awaken from like the Bojack Dokkan event medals and like the, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, the Bojack. Oh, okay. Well, he doesn't awake awaken from the Bojack though, kind of event medals because he comes out on global at the same time. So this guy's probably shattering the limit because he comes out on global at the same time. I hope you guys are happy, huh? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> am I kidding? I'm kidding. But am I? I am. <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. Uh. So lastly, let's take a look at his categories. Movie hero, hybrid Saiyan, Goku family, youth, bond and master and disciple, ah, struggle, super Saiyan 2, full power, and exploding rage. So, wait, I messed up. Damn it. No, who I wanted to pull up is the category god himself. Okay. So, yeah, we don't have transformation boost and super Saiyan. Or Kamehameha, because he's not... I mean, I, they don't count that big. Like, is he doing? I didn't actually really look at it. Hold on. Like, I, I watched it, but I didn't like completely look at it. Where is the? I gotta, I gotta turn the volume down. Blow my eardrums off. Does he do the Kamehameha in this? Okay, so there's that. All right, what is it called? Brilliant strike. Yeah, see, that's. Here's this Kamehameha category bullshit. Why? Like, he should... Okay. I don't... Sure. Have fun. Uh, But he is on Super Saiyan 2. He's not... Yeah, ra I've talked about this before, how it's weird. Like, they only give this Gohan rapid growth. Like, all the other Super Saiyan 2 Gohan stuff like that don't have it. He is another buff for... He's not on all-out struggle? No, he is. Okay. I'm just blind. I'm blind as a bat. Okay. Uh, hmm. I, yeah. Again, I would say this Gohan is top five. There's a lot of design choices I'm not a fan of with this guy. It's like... I, I swear. It's like they made him. And he might have been on Kamehameha. He might have had, like, Kamehameha right here and Fierce Battle. And, he and like, maybe this was not a, on a turn restriction. And they tested him out, and they're like, uh... <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll just change a couple of things to make him a little bit less good. Because, like, th again, this Gohan, I feel like, is going to be top five. Like, if you're going to take him in, no matter what, with the additional one key per key for obtained and attack and defense, like, and he's raising defense on super attack and all this shit, like, he's going to be insane, right? Like, there's no doubt about that. He's going to be one of the top LRs in the game, absolutely, for a fact. But he could have been slightly better... And he could have worked a lot better on some of these teams with just some small changes. Because, um, again, Gaze of Respect, I mean, that's going to be tough, man. Uh, let me take... Last thing I want to do is look at Movie Hero Goku's. So, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. But, again, he's not in the Super Saiyan category. So, that uh, nerfs this guy a little bit, right? Um, obviously, this Goku counts. This one counts as well. Um, if we get a, an update for this one, like, you know, we got SCR Vegito. If this guy gets an update, that'll be really good for this Gohan as well. Um, yeah, there's just so many Gokus. So that's not really like movie hero Goku is not the worst restriction ever because there are really good movie hero Gokus. And we're again, the, the update for this guy is going to be a, a top five best unit in the game candidate as well. So, and I, I don't think that's going to be that far away. I mean, me and Gresh were talking that they could do this global and JP at the same time for new years. That's what we were sort of like, like discussing, um, I, th I feel like that still could happen. Global would be so jam-packed, though. Like, Gohan. I mean, Jiren is still coming in the next three weeks at some point. Then they have the Tanabata banner on Christmas. And then, like, a dual Dokkan Fest for New Year's. I Global and JP at the same time could happen. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this Gohan, it's hard to say exactly. I would say he's... I, I feel like he's definitely in the Jiren, Turles, UI Goku, SCR Vegito, Bootsang's range. But it's I, I need to see him in action. There's a couple of small things. You know, him not having Kamehameha category sucks. Because um, that, that would be a great team to use him on. Him having Gaze of Respect and Shattering Limit is unfortunate. Um, I mean, I guess that works good with, like, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, again, this should be a double rates banner, by the way, for both Global and JP. Uh, so this is going to be big. We will see. I expect Gohan to be released in two days. So, we shall see. Or three days, or something like that. But, LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Woo! That boy does look good. <laughs> he does look good. 